Hello, everybody! Wow. Man! That was a lot. He's into it. I am a lot. <laughs> and welcome to the KME Music Den. I'm Keith. I'm Brad. And here we go. We came up with, you know, we always say we're digging for DRA he content. He came up with it. Well, true. Uh, we were always trying to, you know, we're always trying to think of Ryan Adams content, just pull anything out of our you-know-where. <laughs> but we came up with this concept, and then we realized, wait, we could do this for anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyone that has, you know, more than like three albums, let's say. Um, so the triple play. What is a triple play? Uh, you subscribers may already know, but we did Ryan Adams already. Our triple play means three songs in a row on any album proper studio album from a band or artist that four or five tracks four or five six or tracks one two three on a whatever album that you're just mind blown by how good those songs are in a row in sequence right on this album and you're like how can anyone put three songs together that awesome and it's just like three in a row mm -hmm. on an album that blows your mind so that's what we did with ryan adams now we're doing it with the Stones. The Rolling Stones. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, that's a little bit of a So, uh, I know you're a massive Stones Big fan. Big time, yes. Uh, me too, really. Um, but I'm going to ask you to start, Brad, if that's all right. And I, I got to start. Uh, do you have them in 3, 2, 1? Do you have I them do. Okay. I do, yeah. So, why don't you start with your first triple play, okay. coming in at number three for Brad. What's the album and what are the songs? The album, and I, I'm looking for the album now because we should have them in. Do you have Sticky Fingers in front of you? Yeah. I mean, Exile. I'm sorry. Exile, oh, Exile. Main Street. Uh, yeah, I do. Yep. Mine come from Exile. And this I is, knew there was and this is my favorite, favorite album by the band. Yeah. Do you want to guess the tracks, Keith? No. I, there's like 18. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I went with Torn and Frayed, Sweet Black Angel, and Loving Cup. Okay. Back to back to back to me. Yeah. Those are three different sounding songs that are all hits. They're just... Yeah. Yeah, let's throw that up there. They all have their own sound. Loving Cup, probably my favorite of the three. But yeah. Torn and Frayed, Sweet Black Angel, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You put those three in a row, and that's you just sit there and, and go right through that section. Yeah. So Good that's, choices. That's my first triple play. Do you happen to recall offhand what tracks they are in the sequence? I do not. That's okay. I do not. Yeah, I, I didn't curious. write that down. I was curious, but well, you know, everybody can look that <laughs> up. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know if I have that written for mine, actually. But uh, I knew you were going to have Exile oh, on Exile's here at some point. Oh, Exile's got to be on there, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised it's not number one, but maybe he'll have three more from Exile. <laughs> That's how much he loves Exile. So I do love Exile. We will see. So, I guess it's my turn. It is. Number three for my triple plays. The real cover. The <laughs> dirty cover. Oh. Beggar's Banquet. There we go. Okay. So, my songs... You don't want to guess, do you? No. Nah, it's too hard to do that. Yeah, that one's going to be tricky. That one's got a lot of great... Yeah. Great stuff. So, I decided to go with Jigsaw Puzzle, mm. Street Fighting Man... Really? ...and Prodigal Son. Okay. I like it. I yeah. do like it. I yeah. do like it. Yeah, Street Fighting Man right in the middle there, the more well-known song yep. of the three. But, yeah, man. Just... Yeah, Prodigal Son's got that stompy, like, old-timey blues yeah. thing, and Jigsaw's kind of more of a... I guess it's kind of a ballad. Again, yeah. we yeah. have a, a triple play with a very nice French, and like The songs aren't... Yeah, it's not like three burners. Ballads, like three yeah. Ballads, no, three ballads right. or three... Exactly. You got a little bit of a mix there. Exactly. I like that. Eclectic. It is. So, yeah. There's the Beggar's Banquet with the, with the turlet. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's my number three. Perfect. All right. Number two for me. Let's see. What you, what you hunting for, buddy? The one at the very bottom, I think. Oh, Let's see okay. Here. My favorite of the 80s albums. Yes. I think you would agree, Keith. That's probably... Wait, was it 79, though? Was it 79? I thought it was 80. Well, no, it might be 80. I could be wrong. It might be 80. It could be wrong. I always thought of that as an 80s album, but I could I be mean, wrong. yeah. It might be technically like okay. know, December 79, but <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah. From this album, I went with Some Girls, Lies, and Far Away Eyes. Oh, Far Away Far Away Eyes, eyes yep. Wow. Yep. So those three tracks, again, perfect. Yeah. And again, very different. Um, and that's one thing I noticed when I was going through these is how different Stone songs could be right next to each other yeah. and still flow beautifully. Well, and what I, what I love about your choices on this is no Miss You. No. No Beast of Burden. Nope. So that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. The Far Away Eyes, you know, has to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oof. Yep. Fantastic, man. Yep. So that's your number two, Some Goyles. I'm Doyle. <laughs> so, my number two may be a bit of a surprise, um, but, you know, maybe not. We'll see. I decided to go to the album. Okay. It's only, it's rock, only and rock and roll, roll, but I like it. I know he does, too. <laughs> um, so, 
maybe a little on the nose, but I went with the first track yeah. of my triple play is It's Only Rock and Roll, but I sense. like it. Followed by Till the Next Goodbye. Mm -hmm. And then Time Waits for No One. That's a great, that's a good one, two, three off the top of an album, too. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I, I, I feel good about those choices. So I always like this cover, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you've got, you know, you've got the classic albums. You know, this one, I don't know. I don't know if it's considered among their best, necessarily. Um, it's I, middle of the pack. Yeah, I think it's middle of the pack. I think it's a little underrated. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to highlight that, but, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, It's Only Rock and Roll is the uh, triple play for me um, off of this album. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we're, now we're at our top picks. Which, I don't know that it's possible that we land on the same one. But if we were, I think it would possibly be this. Possibly. Possibly. But I songs? think the best three songs in a, in a row that, I've, that Stones have done on any album, and I think it's hard to, to come back, is off of Sticky Fingers. And it's going to be, oh, yeah, hold it up. Yeah. You hold it. Well, let's Sister Morphine, <laughs> Dead Flowers, and Midnight Mile. That's exactly my number one Is choice it? as well. Boom. How about that? And I All the know, albums. Yeah. But, I, you know, I thought to myself, am I, am I being too obvious no. with my number one pick? But there's a reason. There's a reason. We both picked it. <laughs> yeah. That is a hell of a sequence. It's so one of the best triple plays of all time. Oh god! It's if we're going to talk about our new yep. triple play concept, which I'm sure I don't yep. know if it's new like to the world, but uh, it's new to our <laughs> channel. Um, wow! Yeah, so I'm not yeah, shocked. I got the zipper cover and everything, folks. That looked a little weird how yeah. I did it there, but um, that's I got the zipper. Yeah, but yeah, I mean that's there's the butt. There's the butt. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, what a triple play. Yeah, I had the idea that, that might be Keith's as well because it's so. Yeah. How do you look at that and go, that's not one of them? That's not <laughs> yeah, one of them. just. <laughs> oh, and I struggle with, well, maybe I don't put it at number one. I'm like, fuck, it's number one. It's number one. Yeah. It's number one. It is. Uh, okay, I'll put you on the spot. Of those three songs, what's your favorite? <laughs> Sister Morphine, Dead Flowers, Moonlight. Oh Mile. my God, that's really hard. <sighs> that is hard. I would say Dead Flowers. Wow, okay. Yeah, I really like that track. Yeah. Midnight Mile is fantastic, but it is a closing track to me. Moonlight Mile. Oh, Moonlight yeah, Mile. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want people to... Yeah, the I'm, yeah I'm <laughs> throwing that off. But yeah, that's, uh, that sounds like a closer to me. Dead, yeah, Dead Flowers, I think, would be my, my pick. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm a little tired of Dead Flowers because I performed it for like 20 okay. years in a row. Um, like almost every time I had a show, <laughs> we played that song, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a perfect song to get warmed up to. Yeah. Four Chords of the Truth. Um, but mm, I actually really like Sister Morphine. Do you? Yeah. yeah it's a good track. Yeah, so. Uh, well, geez, this, is, this that, was a nice quick video. That I mean, was an easy one. Especially because we had the same number one. Yep. Uh, but, folks, what am I going to tell them to do? You're going to tell them to smash a button again. I don't know why. No, but related to the Stones and Triple Plays, what am I going to tell them that I want them to do? To ignore everything we just said and find your own. Find your own, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ignore everything we just said. <laughs> It'd be so funny if like there's all these comments and like yeah. everyone put their number one as those three <laughs> at the end of sticky fingers too. Yeah. It's like it's undeniable. Yep. Uh but no. What are your thoughts? Like he said, ignore us. <laughs> yeah. Don't even watch the video and just put in the, <laughs> uh, put in the cop okay. put in the comments what your top three Stones triple plays are. Um is there a band or an artist you want us to do triple plays for next? Give us a comment. We'll keep an eye on that. Maybe we can accommodate you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put Brad on the spot again and ask him to tell the folks what they need to do regarding the channel. Smash the button on your phone or your computer. Hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. I think that's an important thing you got to do. Yeah, you got to subscribe to the channel. Because otherwise you don't see us, I don't think, right? Well, yeah, you got to, yeah, I mean, I don't know. you got to subscribe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can still watch the videos, but it helps us if you subscribe. Okay. Well, then yeah. I would recommend doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I should probably like the video too. Oh, does that matter? Well, I mean, it helps. Okay, well, yeah, then do everything that. helps. Okay, yeah. well, then do that, too. I did notice, I don't know if you've been noticing, that we've been starting to, like, when I go from my personal uh, YouTube uh, uh, subscription, uh, membership, whatever you want, um, channel, actually, it's technically a channel, <laughs> I, just have any, I don't have anything on it, Yeah. Um, to watch our videos, the commercials are coming up already. They are, guys. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting popular. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, so... Yeah, we already went over all the stuff you need to do. <laughs> so, yeah. most importantly, in the comments, what are your top three, top five, if you mm -hmm. want to do? Uh, be uh, more ambitious than us and do five. Uh, what are your top triple plays from the Rolling Stones? 
Um, I'm sure we'll hit all the you know the big bands at, at, at some point. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to hit some of the lesser known bands too that have. Um, we were talking about you know we don't want to pick a band that has three albums because it's like well then there's a triple play off each album and that's it like yeah. we want to have a band that has a decent you know a discography uh, but I'd say six albums or more is probably and, and like a like a band we don't know much about like maybe the Beatles I've heard yeah, them like yeah. we'll check the Beatles out and... not too familiar but no. yeah it might be fun to find <laughs> I don't know even know if they have three songs in a row on any of their albums that are that we can, great I mean we'll dig but I'll, we'll dig curious to find out so. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so we're dorks and you love it <laughs> so uh, check it out uh, spread the word like I always say tell a friend tell your mom tell your pet uh, to subscribe and we appreciate it and we'll see you real soon with another triple play who will yep. it be well, you'll find out right along with us see you soon thanks <laughs>